So I just create a new file and then just select the for any folder you want to. And I just change the name of the project, follow uh, test uh, 004 now. So this one is actually spatial uh, awareness project. So again, I select the 3D and editor version is 20 March version project name and location and I just create a project. So it's opening here. Do so we have two more classes or is this the Oh, yeah. So, uh, we have two folders. Oh, the uh, Ah, thank you, June. Uh, so, we have one more class left. So, 30 is the last one. Oh, and, and then actually, uh, uh, feel free to come here and if you need any office hour to help your project, because you're so welcome. I just stay here. The first and the sixth and the youngest. The first. So very happily, this is actually final exam week. week oh, okay. So, okay. but you're welcome to come here. <laughs> when should we finish our project? Uh, normally, I do not want to write. So it's up to you. Um, okay, so here's the issue. Uh, normally. Uh, so the advantage of this small class is that uh, I can give you this break because it's a small class time. And second thing, um, it's up to you. Uh, but uh, so we will have one tentative submission is that we will we'll have a review on June 10th. You need the one. So prepare to submit sometime at the end of June 9th. And then I probably prepare whatever way, or would you just prepare a video or just in case to demonstrate your project? Yeah, you know how we can get a video from the Oculus? Yeah. Like, uh, how can you record it? Like, I don't know. I, I, I don't really like the Oculus software, and I have some things called Oculus Neuro, and I can get a record of the Oculus. Okay. I think Oculus is I don't know if it's. I have to be specific with the what do they don't know like how to stick with the vehicle. Uh -huh. uh -huh. If you if you go to the folder of this of this app, I think we'll find uh if we go into support of this diagnostic, we will find of this mail. Okay. If you it, it will just display what else this is. Okay. So please upload your video and upload your app. So we can, so uh, probably it will say, uh, so three things. So one is your video to present it and see if, if something goes wrong. I'll just play video on the review day. Second thing, so if possible, we can upload your app to the Oculus headset. So with your name and project name nicely. So some other people, I don't know if it's good for you or not, probably many people will see your demonstration after you leave here. <laughs> so, uh, because a, a lot of people visit here, and then they like to then use the author of the text here. And then I will happily introduce your amazing project to visitors. The hey, this is the project. Last semester, finally, business made them, blah, blah, blah. So that's the first goal. And then, second one, so that's the probably, if you want to uh, leave early, that's your final uh, due date. However, I would love to give you any extensions if you want to prove it, the submit during, I don't know, within a month. 
Okay, so don't have to update the It's for this update that you already know how does it look like. If you update your app itself, it just just kind of upload your app on the Google Drive, then I can upload it to Oculus, then you can do that. Okay, so we can work on it then after we leave and just submit the app. Okay. Yeah. Or just a Unity file so we can just build and upload it. Sounds good? Yeah. All right. Um, but we're not like demonstrating it to you in mm -hmm. person. We're not like demonstrating it to you in person any of the days. So I really appreciate if you can come on June 10th, but if you can't, just kind of remote it. So somewhere, I don't know, in Jeju Island, just go to Jeju. No, it's <laughs> very true. So uh, it depends on the time. Like I think I live, uh, I live the camp, so it's like at it depends either at 10 a.m. or either at 4 p.m. I don't know. I think it will be somewhere sometime in the afternoon. I don't know. But yeah, would you record a yeah. video that you're explaining yeah. what is your project is about? <laughs> but that would be enough. Okay. With the Jeju background. <laughs> <laughs> oh, when you arrive in Jeju? Uh, the time. Tense? You are a judge in tense? Yeah. In the morning? Um, I know, I didn't look my flight. I did. I did. Are you sure I'm able to work? <laughs> yeah, I did not fly. Okay, well. Okay. Yeah. It would be also nice that somewhere in the airplane. <laughs> <laughs> would be nice too. Okay. So I, I don't know the final. Oh, okay. So, uh, oh, okay. So here's the official brochure I received. And then uh, your co presenter is very famous Korean artist. <laughs> this is the official brochure of the project. <laughs> your names are not printed yet here. Uh, I don't know if this is fine, but uh, well, definitely um, uh, it will be updated. That probably one page will be here. Yeah, please uh, email me your nice picture too. If possible, I'll try to include your. Uh, Picture like this. So, uh, <laughs> oh. and then uh, so the uh, the title is resume, and then uh, one uh, one project is about nature, and another is tone, music, voice, noise, and then probably your project will be titled here. Oh, so give me one word title for your project. How do you call it? If you use it, one word. Robot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so yeah, please write a short description, one paragraph or two maximum. Um, oh, wait, and we can email it to you? Yes, yes. Okay. Yeah, yes, of course. Yeah, I will check that out. Uh, I don't know how, so uh, if possible, I don't know how to, how to take this kind of picture, but probably supposed to, so probably uh, one designer or editor may use Photoshop if you bring in your picture, and probably they make like this, so I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so actually, if you take a picture with some dark background, it would work. <laughs> Excited. All right, so we have a new project. It's already opened. All right, so first thing, uh, so we have to do, we have to change the platform. So I will go to File, Build Settings, uh, the Universal Windows Platform. I will select HoloLens and AMD 64. And pretty much that's it. And I just click switch platform that it'll take for, for a while. It'll take a while. Windows platform, a universal Windows platform. And select target device as HoloLens and architecture ARM64. 
And then you will have an error message that the local machines does not support running ARM64, they're just totally fine. So you can over that. And then it's pretty much uh, ready. But if you open player settings, uh, something, so probably you will have nothing, XR plugin management. Uh, okay, I'll just skip for now. Let's kind of change this one later. So now you just simply changed your platform that can work with HoloLens and that's it. And the second major thing that you have to install is called uh, MRTK, uh, is this one, which is Mixed Reality Toolkit. Let me see. And then the place where you can download, I will just uh, find it, try to find it first. Mixed reality toolkit, not the main. Mixed reality. Okay, I'll just check in the Google. So what you have to install? Uh, so mixed reality feature tool, mixed reality feature tool. Okay, so I just Google it. So mixed reality feature tool. And if you Google it, you can find it, uh, download mixed reality feature tool from official Microsoft. So here, just download it. then you'll get this zip file. Uh, you are going to reuse this one many times. So I would just save somewhere near uh, where all your uh, Unity files are. So I just cut and save it inside my class folder. Because this one will be, this one need to be need to be reinstalled for every project, not the Unity. So you need to reinstall whenever you create a new project. So I just kind of um, save it here. Then I would unzip it. So Mixed Reality Feature Tool, and then I just unzip it. And then if you go inside, the folder, there will be exe file, and then you need to install it. Anyone uses Mac? No. So, okay. So, Ben has another independent file to install. And then you probably see this kind of screen. And then you do a refreshing catalog. And then I will start. And then you need to identify the path. Uh, what I will do is I will just click this browse icon and then select the folder, the project folder that you created. And then as you see that this one is actually under underscore is here. So it doesn't allow you to select any. So I just selected this FCLN file. And then if I just open it, it automatically just remove the S dot SLN and it just you get the folder's name. So just select the SLN uh, file. So here, I'll, are you okay? Or should I go back and explain one more time? Are you okay? Oh. I don't have any other phone. Oh. Uh, you don't have it? Okay, so I just. I don't have it and it's like to learn my cells. Okay, right. So I just select the file name and then you do just automatically select the folder's name instead. And then I just go to discover features. And this is actually the place where we need to download quite many things. Uh, very happily, the one that I'm doing uh, does not have tutorial yet, any of the time. So you are the first one to know this. <laughs> because uh, what I found out the spatial perception that all the official tutorials are kind of like one year previous version. There's no new one that's announced yet. That's why probably it's not working properly. 
So here, uh, the, so far, the official tutorial, what you can find out is that for the mixed reality toolkit, uh, you need foundation. And then for the platform support, you need this mixed reality OpenXR. However, we need actually more than that, which is I would rather uh, select mixed reality standard asset. And then I also include mixed reality toolkit examples and extensions and foundation. I probably do not use other stuff. Or I would just also add toolkit test and toolkit tools. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, and for platform support, I just select OpenXR. And then also I'll check scene understanding. So I would actually select these two and another one to six from the mixed reality toolkit and two from platform support. And I'll click get feature. Then before you import it, you need to validate. And if you have any error, you have to solve it. But so far I have no issue. So, okay, then I will import it. So this is the process that whenever you like to work with HoloLens, you have to import this one for each project. And now I have to one more click approve. And then uh, it says that please return to Unity to load the imported feature. So I click exit, and then I will wait in tolerance that it will uh, import all those files. Then the difference between uh, before you install the package and after the install packages that so far, you don't have a mixed reality toolkit tab here, but after that, you will soon have it. I believe it's open up. Yeah, so and then it says I need So, then I just go with uh, the store.net. I, I did. You did it? Mm -hmm. and then you may just start with the yeah. If you need that, that's fine. So, you can okay, just restart it, then it will be fine. You'll be fine. So, okay, so there's a warning. So just simply say that restart. Okay, so I will do that. So it will be closed and then reopen it.
Okay, now, uh, so this is the new one. So we have a couple of errors. So what is that? But I don't be bothered, I just clear it. It will be fine. So now I have, Okay, so I have this so far here. So I will wait because uh, you need to install a couple of things here in my uh, Who are okay to follow in so far this? One, two, uh, I'm almost. <laughs> okay, I'll just wait for that a bit. Oh, is it okay? Uh, yeah. Or what did you talk this for? You Google how to do that. Oh, I just followed that. Oh, yeah. Do you have this? Yeah. Yeah, just kind of for now, just kind of about. Okay, so, uh, And then here, what we have to do is we need to install Unity OpenXR plugin. So meaning that there are many different versions, OpenXR or XR, uh, some plugin something, or Windows Mixed Reality. But there are many different versions. Among them, we are going to use Unity OpenXR uh, plugin. So once I click it, it will start to uh, its installation. Then you will probably you depending on your software, you may have some error. And then uh, you just simply click fix all, and I just kind of fix all one more time. Then some of them are solved by themselves. However, some of them doesn't. So what it says was at least one interaction profile must be added. And select which controls you will be testing. So I just click edit. And then what it says, oops, open XR validation. So he, this one said at least one interaction must be added. So what do you mean by is I have to add it extra options here. So what I want to do is, so here so far, I, this one is open project settings and then open XR tab. And inside open XR, I opened this uh, universal windows platform and render mode is a single pass instance. I will select this. And then depth submission mode, I will use a 16 bit instead of 24. And then here the list is empty. What this one is complaining is actually uh, is about this one. So it said at least one interaction profile must be added. So, but I in my interaction profiles there's nothing inside. So what I do, I just click plus, and then you need at least three, which is first first one is detecting your eye movement. So I add eye gaze. And another one, you need hand interaction. So I just add Microsoft hand interaction profile. profile. And another one is 
uh, Oculus Touch Controller, uh, Motion Controller Profile. Uh, I add hand interaction and motion controller. So hand interaction does about hand and motion controller detect your motion. Okay, so then still the problem I have is eye gauge interaction has another warning signal. So I click this one to see what's going on. So if I click this one, it said your project has some settings that are incompatible with OpenXR, click to open the project validator. So I just click it. Uh, so here I have to click Microsoft HoloLens and then I make it activated. So now it said, what it said was eye gaze support requires the gaze input capability. So here, what I do, I just click fix or one more time, then it's all done. Yeah, yeah, this one is kind of, yeah, settings, settings are the kind of the worst part. And so it's done, it's gone. So now everything looks fine and looks good. And you don't really need to save anything because this one is all done. And then I close it. So now I, for now, I just finished this one, Mixed Reality Toolkit Project Configurator. And then here still, it says that I have to do something with XR pipeline setting. So I click show XR plugin management. So this is so far what we have gone through. And something we need to check is that I'm going to XR plugin management. Here, one thing missing is that make sure that your initialize XR is activated and then plugin providers are, we need to select open XR. Then Polarine's feature group is selected and this is something we need to set up. And then if you lost, now you can actually open this one by using go to edit and project setting and this is the same window from the project setting but in the project setting two things so here xr plugin management tab we need to initiate the initializer the initialize xr on startup this will will open xr when you actually start up your hololens and then we are going to use open XR. Holographic remoting remote app is something that you used when you actually connect your HoloLens using Wi-Fi, then actually that's the remote service. But in this case, we are using actually USB cable. That's why we don't need that. Okay, so this one is all set. And then we are going back to MRTK project configurator the last step is that we have to apply these settings. So I just click apply settings. So then, okay, I'll just clear any error message. And when, once I apply settings, uh, there's no error and then everything is uh, set so far. And then I am ready for this. So now we just finished the installation of MX, uh, Mixed Real Toolkit. And then actually, as you see here, you don't really see anything here yet. The reason is that we don't really bring it back here. So what I have to, what I like to do, I just create a new scene. And then this new scene is simply just basic scene and I create. So now I just create a new scene. And then I apply this new scene to mixed reality toolkit or reversely, I want to import Mixed Reality Toolkit on this scene. So I just click Mixed Reality, go to Toolkit, and you will see Add to Scene and Configure. So meaning that you are going to apply all those imported Mixed Reality Toolkit to this scene. So I just want to click that, then you probably see that 
the, the MRTK is on the right side of it, which is inspector. And in the hierarchy, utility in the hierarchy, you probably see now mixed reality toolkit, play space, and scene content. And also, you realize that the default camera is disappeared because the default camera is actually within this mixed reality play space. So, I would rather save this one and just give a good name. So, under uh, awareness, uh, I just saved this one as uh, Polo Cast Sin. Uh, so, this will need to be inside the asset folder. So, I click asset and I just place it under scenes. So, I call this one class demo scene setting. So, I just save it here. So now you so far has user simply finish uh, importing all the HoloLens libraries. That's it. And are you okay so far? All right. So here in the mixed reality toolkit, if you kind of lost this uh, inspector, just you can reselect mixed reality toolkit. And then here, what we are going to do is we need to initiate. Uh, let's kind of this one. Let's do it a little bit later. Okay, so we just finished on our TK writing. Okay, so let's just kind of review what we have done so far on Monday, which is making some object. Okay, so this one will be probably standard for you who are familiar with this. So I would make some three D object cube as a test object. So, so far it is too big, one meter. So I changed to 0 0.2, 0 0.2 and 0 0.2. And then this one is so far overlapped with a camera. So I just kind of move it a little bit front. Then you probably in a game scene, you probably see that this one is in front of a camera. And then what I would make is I would make so this one is kind of floating cube. Uh, another one I would make is I just make another, would rather I just want to make a sphere. And then I also make it a little bit smaller. And then I just move it also in front and a little bit on the right side. So in a game scene, it will stay it's, it's invisible, so I kind of move it a little bit near the original location. So in a game scene, make it that all these two objects are in front of camera and you can see them. And it's okay so far? Right. So let's just say that one in the middle is just another reference object, which does not move at all. So just simply a uh, virtual object. And then on the right side, the circle is, let's say there is something controllable or kind of something interactive object. So to make interactive, and then uh, to, actually, I just want to make a foundation or table uh, to see how does it work. So I just make a cube, uh, which is also overlapped. And then I just make it front and a little bit below its object. So in the game scene, then you probably see a table in front of this cube and a spear. And I just move this spear a little bit too near the cube. So actually this can place it on top of my table. And one of the things that I'm designing here is that I just want to let this spear dropped. And when it is dropped, I want this one interact. This one is interactive with the table. This is okay. And so, so far, this just, uh, I think it looks that other than the initial setting, 
the rest are simply the same thing that you did with the virtual reality, the Oculus, uh, the Oculus uh, uh, headset. So do you still remember how to make an object physically interactive? So I will do, I will add, so this cube, I call it as a table. And then to add some physicality, I have to make this one rigid object. So I just uh, add, I click add component and rigid body and I click it. However, I would, I check uh, use gravity. So I want to protect it. So stay still in the space. And another thing is that if a ball dropped and hit it, it will drop together because it will kind of like uh, react to that. So here in constraint, I will just freeze its position and I'll also freeze its rotation. And then for another for other object like sphere, I also add a rigid body and I would not change that much. And another cube, which I don't, I don't apply anything. So it will float in the space, just like a virtual object. And let's just kind of test it. So if every uh, object move as intended, uh, I have a lot of better. Uh, so he said audio spatialized plugin. So I have to, first of all, I have to fix it. Go to project setting audio spatializer plugin. So I just do that. And another one are is enabled returning balls uh, to input recording services. So that kind of let's try to fix these issues one at a time. So I do go to project setting, edit, project setting, and audio. And then I will check spatializer plugin. Spatializer plugin, is that none? So I would add MS, I'll change this one to, I don't have it. So disable unit audio. So I just click disable on unit audio by doing so. I think I may interrupt this error. Actually, I didn't have it before, but suddenly I have it. That my, uh, this application is not using the recon audio specializer plugin. We'll just pick up and select one of the following MS audio. Oh. Okay, let's just con continue. I don't know whether it'll fix by itself later. Okay, so, so far this one is ready. So I would like to make one object grabbable and manip manipulatable. So I kind of click this sphere to make it manipulatable and changeable, I have to add, let's see, I'll add object manipulator. So I just search it object manipulator. And I also add near object grabbable. So I just click it. Uh, near object, near interaction, grabbable. So I set it. So far, so this one's supposed to be okay. If I just try one more time. Hmm, trying to read the input using Unity Engine input class where you switch to active input handling. So some of them are okay. AR Studio course material, whole setting, 
win IO error. This was okay. Uh, the OpenXR package has been updated and Unity must be started to complete the update. So we said something is updated, but I have to restart it. So what I do, okay, so I just save it. And then I would restart. I think that's the one of the problem. To read the input using the Unity Engine input, but you have switched active input handling to input system package. So I just close it. Tolerance test to 004. I just, let's see if everything's okay. So I just, 002. So I restart. Tolerance 4. Or test to 004. So I need to apply setting one more time. Next, I have to apply one more. Something is not updated properly. So I kind of, I apply, I need to apply. So it will, it will, it will close and reopen. Out and just retry. I have some error. Okay, so now it is still okay. So it works fine. If you have your finger, if you move it up, it'll drop down and comes down. And then if this one works with the spatial awareness, it will work fine. Okay, so, so far it works, everything works good. So actually this one is just recapping what we did on Monday. So from now on, what we are going to do, sorry that I So now we are, so this is recapping what we did last Monday. And then now we are switching to spare awareness. So spare awareness is that the, your camera and the Oculus read the space and then kind of uh, get the collecting information about the uh, surfaces. And we are and then use it to make your virtual object react to them. So to do that, uh, what we need to do Uh, so we need to actually enable the special awareness. So here in the toolkit, uh, what we have to do is we are 
Uh, so if you want to click this mixed reality toolkit, you are going to see mixed reality toolkit uh, options here. And what we are going to use is called spatial awareness. And if you click it, it will show several information that do you want to enable spatial awareness system? And yes. And then the default type is mixed reality spatial awareness system. And this is okay. However, you probably see quite many things are gray out and you cannot really use it. Uh, to use that, uh, you have to actually copy the setting and customize it. So uh, click uh, this one. And then here actually what we are using is default mixed reality configure profile. And if you actually take a look at this one, I would change this one to open XR configuration profile because this one is the one that we are using. Okay. And then I just kind of uh, to activate it, I just kind of clone it. So, and then I have to clone uh, one more time. So now actually this part is exchanged. And now you see that some of them are actually uh, white out, meaning that we can actually change its settings. And here we want to change some settings of OpenXR spatial awareness system. So I have to clean clone one more time, then I would clone it. And then here actually we have nothing. So kind of we are just have uh, settings here. So another one, spatial awareness is that we have to add spatial observer. Spatial observer is a program inside Polarant that actually understand the collected uh, camera information. So I will do add spatial observer. And then here you can select either open XR spatial observer here. And also this is actually a new data provider. Uh, I just kind of use this one. So Jason, you cannot tolerate it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. Good. Okay. All right. So on the here to change any thing in tolerance, I would actually. So so far, actually, I cannot change the default setting here, but I would select clone, and then once you clone it one more time, then you can change its setting. And something you need to understand below here is it says display option is visible. You can select non-visible occlusion. The difference between all these options is that, let's say, spatial observer, occlusion, There are just three different types of observers here. So if you kind of using none, you don't really see anything that when Oculus detect the surface, it will show nothing. If you use visible, you can see some mesh. And if you select occlusion, then actually you can see some occluded items inside of it. And for each option, you need to select its materiality. So in the in this side of it. So you first select which one you are going to use, either non or visible or occlusion. And then actually in, if you use visible, then you can select some of the material here. And if you select, if you select to occlusion material, you can also change its occlusion material. So, so far now we are just setting, but actually it recommend not to use wireframe I'm just guessing that it kind of uses too much uh, visual information. So just kind of like I would change that it's a setting to uh, probably occlusion. So I just change it to, uh, I just select it to occlusion and then just I use occlusion setting. So that's kind of we uh, need to set up. And then we are pretty much for set. So again, when we kind of let your uh, Oculus detect the surrounding space, 
uh, you need this spatial awareness and sphere awareness include uh, this uh, uh, space observer uh, inside. And that's pretty much, uh, that's it. So, and then actually this is pretty much it. Uh, one thing I missed here is actually one minor thing. One thing is that uh, when we actually tested, when I tested, actually it looks, everything was so okay. However, uh, one thing I didn't apply is, as you see here, uh, this one works well. And here, however, the materiality doesn't really work in my Oculus yet. And I just kind of guess one minor thing missing here is that I supposed to use mixed reality toolkits material. If you follow so far this one actually to find it, if you kind of go to asset and MRTK standard material, but actually it doesn't have it. So actually the one I asked to Ishan is that you can actually get the materiality from internet and you can have simply install uh, on independent material. So to find that you can simply Google MRTK standard asset. And then so you can actually download MRTK standard shader. I just kind of download it. So you can actually download from this GitHub asset packages. So Microsoft Toolkit here, and then you can download the material. Uh, so actually this one is the one that I download. So here, Mixed, Real Mixed Reality Toolkit Unity Main. Uh, you can actually download it here, Mixed Reality Toolkit Unity. Next, reality toolkit main packages. So here, so you can actually find a GitHub of Microsoft and then simply you can download it. And then if you unzip it, the file look like this. So, So here, this is the downloaded and unzipped file folder. And then if you see through here, if you go inside of it, I do not recommend to bring in everything inside of your Unity, then you will have name conflicting issue. So here I would say simply go down asset and then inside MRTK and then core. Uh, probably not the core, a uh, standard asset. And then here materials, uh, shaders. And actually you will have actually mixed reality standard shader and standard shader utility CG INC file. So these two files actually work together. So I just kind of select these two. And then I simply copy these two file inside your unity Open. try to open this one the light has been Reality main, toolkit main, main, and 
asset number tk standard asset traders and mixed reality standard trader and cginc and i just copied this one to asset So inside of it, you probably see mixed reality standard shader. And now you have to create a material from this one. So go to create, and then I create material, then you will have this mixed reality uh, shade here. So this is a quick way to uh, import this material, mixed reality material only. And then I just kind of drag it. Uh, so to change that, I probably, I just apply this one to spear. And then I will change the color of spear. So here is spear mixed reality toolkit standard. I change its color a little bit ready. And now it is changed. And actually I apply um, I will do, I just create another material. And then I just apply this one to tables. So all they work with uh, mixed reality standard material and also apply them to cube. And then so far, so these are, uh, so far you are all set. So if you add, if this one, if you kind of uh, run, run it. Again, again, this one actually works well in this uh, emulator version. And once I upload it, then it's still, I'm sorry that it still doesn't really work well. Uh, the kind of so far, the problem I have with it is that this one works fine, however, I may need to hold it for a while. So I, the spatial awareness function really detect everything. But let me just kind of like try one more time. But this one is so far, uh, still hopefully if you have a virtual object that will like to interact with uh, <laughs> your real project. So to upload it, what you have to do, you have to build it. So go to build the setting and go to build. Since the kind of the CPUs are different each other, it will not work for build and run. You have to, so first of all, you have to just build it on your folder. So I just called it build 001. And then I just kind of save there. I'm quite sure that you all have the same processes, fixing errors while you're doing or a virtual reality project. So I hope you understand it. You know why it's built? Yeah, on the build button. Oh, okay, right so let me see. Um, 
So local machine. So let me see. So is there's a can't find any support in WHS Windows 10 SDK. Maybe that's the reason. That's the other reason. Is it so can you add a new WP SDK installation? Support. I think this is the oh, debug. Build debug. I think I don't have this one. Do you have it? Yeah. Let me just install UWP SDK. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 So this one is the one. Oh, did it not download properly on the iPhone, maybe? Oh, yeah, yeah. In your hub, let's double check. In your hub. Yes, cancel. You don't need this here. So you will be fine. I'm just checking that you are using this version, right? Then you probably check it. This is your community using twenty two two. Isha, would you check? It looks like you could not find any WP, but she is told it. But just what, what about the Windows 10 SDK? Would you download this one and then reopen? Probably for this one, download it to her Windows setup. Download. I would install this one and then for this one, I would start the computer and restart. So now I have it here. So build 001, and I just simply double click the SLM file, the Visual Studio file. And then once you open it, So now actually, so a couple of things uh, you need to take care about handle is that first of all, I would use debug mode and then the CPU is actually ARM64. And then if you're uh, two issues you will have when you develop Polaroid, one is uh, make sure that you connect it and turn it on. So you need to see uh, some kind of main window screen here, meaning that if this one is kind of recognized by this uh, desktop. And then once you kind of once you connect it using USB cable and uh, you turned on, and if you see the main screen, you probably see that device. Sorry, that this is Korean. You can see that you can select a device from your this option. Otherwise, this the device will be gray out. And then everything is here, debug ARM64, and then turned on. Once you click it, it's going to take a couple of minutes. And then uh, you'll see the unit key file inside of here. And one thing really nicely work on today is because on Monday, when you connect HoloLens and your machine, you need to go to devices pin number. You need to figure out the device's pin number. It's kind of like pairing issue with your iPhone and a computer. You need to enter pin number or password to allow the communication between your machine and a desktop. But last, that one we already done on last Monday. Once you connect it, you will not see it anymore. Then everything will be connected smoothly. Okay, said something wrong. I just simply re, I just kind of simply re, uh, replay. I probably is because some connection error. 
And I'll just kind of replay. Can you push her? Okay, so I probably the main, so I kind of made it here. So I just do. Oh, and then when you do that, you will see that would you allow to access the file or something like that? And then you have to say yes here inside of here. So I just. Definitely in this case, I just kind of, I may turn it off and turn it on. So I just turn it off. Or it's just like I do, you know, disconnected and reconnected. And develop device. I just restart this headset. Oh, okay. I just double check the settings. This one release tolerance and this will be player settings. Are tracking this one. I just build one more time. The setting holders are anticipated later to compare to local machine. I just build it. So did you ask the report and ask the what's it work? Uh, it's not, it's not mine. Oh, okay. okay. So build complete, build 002, open it up.
So I changed debug ARM64. Then I changed it to device. Then I turned it on. Come now.
So it looks perfectly fine, but everything just dropped and disappeared before it is actually scanned. So one last puzzle. Everything works fine. It looks floating and working. Uh, so it doesn't really work. So you are welcome to see. However, yeah, just a, it works fine. That the gravel is fine. So what happened now is one thing. The last program is that so. I have a table, so I have a bowl. So it's supposed to stay on the table for a while while I am scanning the whole floor. But it works okay in the my computer, but once it is go back to Polarant, it just falls down. So that's the one last spot I did. So I'll figure it out and I kind of like uh, fix it for you. I don't know why, I think you can remove the rigid body on the table. Oh, uh, do you miss the problem? Even if, okay, I'll, let's try. So let's say that, but, okay, so if you move it from the table, if you move the wrist body from a table, If I test it, so it will stop here. So it works fine. So I would say I what if I build it? This one is solvable issues. So far, all you all your comments work. So I hope this <laughs> one will work too. Yeah, I just kind of remove some unnecessary mess.
Okay. I wish at least one of you. Uh, so, Mishan, you or we finished it? Do you uh, want to upload in your? I tried to build, but I got some errors. So, the people on the internet suggest me to download the Windows SDK. The same issue. Yeah. But we're not, I think we're not getting the same errors. Oh. Yeah. But Works. Yes. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, it works. It, now, now, uh, now, finally, it works. I think that yeah, I, I suppose not to uh, use the rigid body on that. Yeah, okay, so that's perfect. All right. So I, I didn't really test it uh, grabbing, but let's I just uh, I just disconnect it, but I just re-upload it. Oh, finally. Uh, I'm so excited. So maybe I should not, I, I may skip the, uh, MRTK material at all. It's just simply the rigid body issue. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, I restart my headset. I just restart. I think I definitely hire you. <laughs> Do you like this work here? <laughs> Including residency <laughs> to induce you, <laughs> to seduce you. <laughs> Stay here, don't go back to France. <laughs> oh, I'm not going back to France. No? No. You're graduating? Yeah. Why not? Oh, oh this is your last semester? Yeah. Oh, okay. So, where do you go? Back to China? Yeah. So I, I'm kind of checking that I cannot, okay, I, I cannot, oh, okay, I cannot, okay. Okay, um, just a chunk. Yeah, oh, uh, yeah.
Yes. Okay, now I can drag it and then it moves well on the floor, on the, the, the table. I just move it to four. Yes! Whoa! Okay, so I, oh my God. All right, I'm so excited, there we go. Okay, so what you are going to see, as we see, um, okay, I'm uh, super excited. Okay, um, sorry that I, I was excited about it. Okay. Um, okay, so what you are going to test, I just kind of turn it off. Um, uh, wow, it's, it's so amazing. Okay, so what you will see, okay, so you, you're kind of, this is what we designed. So uh, once you see that, once you start, it's so one of the, okay, so um, one thing, I didn't realize that this was a little bit too far. So we can actually walk within this USB cable range. So I will start for you to start here. Then the box will be about two meter away. So once you start it and everything connected, then actually the, you will see that, are you allowed to permit to upload the program and just say yes. And you may click it twice. And then you probably see this white box in front of you two meters away. And you can test it, drop it, and, and then if you, you can drag it and then release it, it will fall down and it will stay on the table. And then the next thing you can do is you please kind of scan around your space, then it will scan the floor. And if you drag it and then drop it on the floor, it will just stay on the floor and then you just kind of roll around it. Wow. All right, so <laughs> enjoy. <laughs> All right, so um, the way how to do that is so I build it up, I build it, and then so this one is run. Okay, so uh, who want to come first? Nobody. <laughs> All right, so um, so here's the mouse. So, right, and then you can just click. Uh, so wear it first, and then okay, you can sit here. Uh, let's you can, you can so sit here. This worked. Okay, and then I upload it. So do you see the main screen? Wait, oh, no, I don't see it. The main screen. No. So hold it. So do that. And then you should see the main screen. Touch it. Okay, it's good. That's meant it's on. So I'll just play it. So after this blue bar turned to red bar, it's ready. Then you probably see some Unity screen. And probably you see some white uh, table in front of you. For Windows 11? Does it, okay. Yeah. Um, I think it's ready. Can you see the white? Oh, yeah, you see. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, I have it. Oh, that's, that's, that's just for the to your body. You need to correct your eye. Oh, I, I, I said, it. I did come, so. Yes. Yeah, you got it. Oh, and yeah, something. Yeah, I. Oh, yeah, it's just big. I don't remember. It's an old version. But I. Did you drop it on the floor? Oh no, not that. Wait, is the one I wanted? Like. Oh. Head to Oh yeah, it's yeah. So it just rolls on the floor. Yeah, it's rolling. Actually, you can actually drop it here. Try to put it on the table. Because it, it but theoretically it's supposed to scan any table or object. Even you can drop or you can put it on, on somewhere in this okay. existing table. On this table? Uh-huh. Yeah. So Does it work? Yeah. Does it roll on, a, on this yeah. table? Good. <laughs> <laughs> like I feel like he he, he detected that uh, the table was a bit inclined because like oh he lost the ball. You lost the ball. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I wish. 
I think we should make a reset button to place it for. Uh, oh, and I can't, there, I can't take the big picture. Oh, I lost it. It's interesting that we can, we can lose our virtual ball once we drop it. Uh, I don't know why, but like oh, okay, right. on the table with like everything fans. Okay. So we couldn't put the ball uh, on touch. Oh. Okay. Uh, Who we'll wanna try next? <laughs> Didn't you sleep last night at all? No, I'm not. <laughs> oh, I totally understand. Yeah. I, I was in my master program. I sleep almost every day. Like, I have too much workload, so I sleep wherever I can sleep. <laughs> it was kind of for me, it was embarrassing that uh, my neighbor gets on the wrong sofa because I don't want everybody. Look at me sitting on the sofa. So actually, I prefer to go back side of the sofa and <laughs> sit behind there. And then many, many of my friends actually they purchase those kind of like insulating board because it's warmer. So <laughs> put a lot of insulating um, board and put it under the table and we sit there. <laughs> Yeah, it's just a picture of students taking naps in really random places. Oh, you got it? Oh, what can I get? Oh, okay, so kind of you grab it. Open it and then close by and then grab it. Yes. Is it pink ball? The pink ball. Oh. You got okay. it? You hold it? Yeah. Okay. And drop somewhere on a table or... Where's the picture? Or on a chair behind you? What happened? Oh! Does this... It stay on the floor. Okay, you can actually re-grab it and then put it on another table or... Oh, this is so fun. <laughs> it doesn't grabable. Oh. Okay. What happened? Oh no, it's still on the floor. It's there. Oh. I don't think. So it doesn't really hit it at all, it just kind of comes down. Yeah. So I feel I feel, I feel like uh, there's a, some kind of time lag. So you need to scan it for a while. Oh. And then after the drop there. Oh. So, for this, uh, actually, it's supposed to be shown. However, you don't actually, if you so, some scanned area and unscanned area, you probably see some masking color in front of it. Don't you see any color? I see some color. Where, where's my phone? <laughs> okay, that's <laughs> Okay, right. Um, all right. Uh, this is your try to wake you up. <laughs> okay, I'll okay. So uh, check, uh, touch your wrist and then try to see. Let me know if you can see the main screen or not. Can you see main screen? Uh, you need to touch it like this. Yeah, I don't need to see it on there. So you have to touch it that you can see some rectangle. Can you see rectangle? Okay. Yeah, now I'm uh, uploading it. If the blue bar below turns into red, then I think you can actually after that you can see some Unity logo um, and the start of the uh, app. I love to see your
I can't. What, what is the what does it say? Oh, it was like adjust for your eyes. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You you have to actually follow some oh. moving, uh, some sparkling things in front of you. But you just kind of you, you look at it for a while. Then oh, you have to touch it. So now I like walk over. Okay. Yeah. So uh, can you grab the pink ball? And then uh, can you grab it? No. You you can grab it with the thumbs and the index finger. Yeah. And then you can move it off and you can drop it on the white table. And then you can also grab it and then uh, drop it on the floor. Yeah, it's on the floor now. Okay, can you grab it and then can you put it on the table? Yeah, but you need to look at it for a while before. So let Polaroid scan this area first and then drop it. How does it work? It just yeah. come down to the floor. Yeah. Or does it hit the table or just fall down? The table? Uh, no, it like hit the corner. Oh, okay, that it works, right? Yeah. Okay, good. All right. Do not throw it away. Uh, can yeah. you? Okay, <laughs> grab it. Look at the look at some wars and try to throw it to a war. I just wonder that if if you're doing okay, if you scan the war, if you throw it to the war, it's supposed to come back because it kind of, it sees as a war. But actually, I didn't really put the bounce yet, so kind of you could just hit the war and then drop it immediately. This is so fun. Okay. Right, I should teach for Poland first then. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now, who knows these tags? Uh, did you do it? Oh, no, yeah. Okay. <laughs> now, let's stop it. Uh, you may also need to correct your eye position. Okay, but you can wear it and then check, you, uh, and then re keep the wrist with your finger and then check if you can see uh, the main screen. Do you see that? Do you yeah. See the so I'm uploading. Yeah, would you look at the uh, look at the monitor a little while? Did you throw it to the monitor? So let's see how does it work. Um, uh, we have to wait. Uh, okay. I'm still, this is still uploading. So if you see the monitor, the bottom of it, if the blue bar turned into red, then it's it's about to finishing uploading it. Wait, there's a blue bar? Uh, no, no, I mean the, the monitor is blue bar oh, here. Okay, this okay. one turns red. Then. Yes, now I think this oh, okay. will start. Oh, yes. I can stay here and somewhere and book shit. Oh my god. <laughs> I can support your resistance here. Then I can pay. Oh, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Now you see the pink board. 
Um, uh, I'm Mindy Oh, okay. Yeah, no, I see everything. <laughs>